properly coordinated trade has seen smaller countries from the Pacific being able to export their taro, ginger and handicrafts to Australia and New Zealand, while Papua New Guinea, which has over 80% of the population and land mass, cannot get our agriculture and fisheries products to Australia and New Zealand markets. The National Parliament passed the landmark legislation last week when introduced by Minister for International Trade and Investment, Richard Maru. Minister Maru said the National Trade Bill 2023 is one of the most important laws in terms of trade and investment because it was set out to achieving PNG's Vision 2050, which specifically notes the importance of diversifying the economy by promoting and expanding trade and investment in the country. To put it succinctly, The bill therefore seeks to address the need for the anchorage of the trade policy function of government as well as giving the legal mandate to the newly established National Trade Office to carry out its powers and functions as envisioned under the trade policy. Minister Maru said the National Trade Bill 2023 will ensure that the appropriate linkages are established between all relevant stakeholders both domestically and internationally for PNG to achieve the national trade policy vision of becoming an internationally competitive export-driven economy that is built on and aided by an efficient and expanding domestic market. Mr. Speaker, the following is a summary of the Sertalian features of the bill. <clears throat> Number one, it, introduced, it starts with introducing provisions that succinctly explain the purpose of the bill, ensuring compliance with constitutional requirements and highlights the application of other relevant laws. Prime Minister James Warapi welcomed the passage of the landmark National Trade Bill 2023 by Parliament after much debate. Warapi said, and I quote, a competent and dedicated National Trade Office will be set up under the Department of International Trade and Investment with a clear legal mandate to identify, negotiate and secure new and better market access for our goods and services. End quote. According to the Minister for Trade and Investment, Richard Maru, the successful enactment of this bill will be another legacy initiative that demonstrates that the Marape Russell government is serious about its commitment to undertake reforms necessary for PNG's economic prosperity. Rocky Iso, National, MTV News.